In my work as a real estate agent, I use Microsoft OneNote 2007 to store lots of different types of information for my clients, like information about what they need in a house, pictures of properties I want to show them, notes from client meetings, and to-do lists. I can store Microsoft Office files and file printouts like this Visio diagram of a kitchen layout. I can even make audio recordings in OneNote, like this one I made of a lender's quote. OneNote lets me organize information the way I want. The structure of a notebook is familiar because it's similar to a spiral notebook or three-ring binder. The sections are like the dividers, each holding as many individual pages as I need. Creating a notebook like this is easy. To begin, I click the down arrow next to New on the toolbar and then click Notebook. I name the notebook in the wizard and click Next. At work, my colleagues and I keep a shared notebook on our network file server so that we can work together on projects. However, I won't be sharing this particular notebook, so I click I will use it on this computer and then click Next. I confirm the notebook location, which by default is in a folder called OneNote Notebooks in the My Documents folder. Then I click Create. After adding sections and pages, here's what my notebook looks like. I found that it works well to keep all the information for each client together by creating a separate section for each client. To add a new section, I click the New down arrow and then click Section. I can then name the section by typing the name of my newest client. For each client, I typically create a page for each client meeting, one or more pages for housing requirements, and several pages for the homes I find for them. When I need a new page, I just click New Page here on the right, above the Page tabs. The label matches whatever I enter in the page title box. I can choose a custom size for page tabs by dragging the left border of a page tab to enlarge or reduce the size of the tabs. Or I can click this button to automatically decrease the size of the page tabs and increase the workspace. To keep relevant pages grouped together, I can create any number of subpages below a main page. To do this, I click the New Page down arrow and then click New Subpage. I like to have the sections for my most active clients right up front, so I simply drag the sections to where I want them as my workload changes. I change the order of the pages in the same way. Or I can drag individual notes to different places on the page. In OneNote, it's as easy to change the appearance of information. For example, I like to associate a particular color with each client. I select a color for a section by right-clicking a section tab and selecting a color. To save me time, I start with a template for my new listing page. To do this, I click on the drop-down next to the New Page button and select More Template Choices and Options. Under Decorative, the building's template seems appropriate. For even more ways to customize my notebook, I go to the Tools menu and click Options. I click a category on the left in the Category list to see the options available on the right. For example, under Display, I can do things like change the arrangement of my OneNote window by moving the page tabs from the left to the right of the page. Under Editing, I can indicate whether I want numbers or bullets added automatically to lists. As you can see, with OneNote you can work the way you want, create lots of structure for the information you store, or none at all. However you want to work, OneNote is there to help you.